Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews here from the Photoshop Elements team and in this session we're going to be looking at how to create a great group shot from a range of different photos that we've taken. Now I'm sure you've had the situation like I've got here where we were taking some photos of some of the kids in the family and as is the case with most of these kind of shots it's very difficult to get a single photo where all of the kids are looking in a way that's acceptable for the photo in any particular shot. So what would be the ideal scenario is if we were able to take bits of some images and add them to bits of other images to create a composite where all of the kids are looking great in the photo. Well thankfully inside Photoshop Elements we have this ability and it's with the photo merge group shot feature. So what I've done first is to make sure that I've taken plenty of photos at the time so that I have a good range of source images that I can put together into a single photo. Now I'm inside the organizer workspace and you can see I've added star ratings to the best of these images. So the images with five stars have good parts which I wish to add together into a single composite photo. Now I'm going to select these images by just holding down Control or Command and just going and clicking on all of the images that I have in my organizer workspace that have five stars. Once I've done that I can go up to Edit and then down to Photo Merge and across to Photo Merge Group Shot. We open up into the Editor workspace now and Photoshop Elements goes and aligns the photos that we're going to use as source images. You'll notice that the images that I originally photographed, I tried to keep the camera in the same position as much as possible. This will help the Photo Merge Group Shot feature to stitch all of the pictures together seamlessly. Once the alignment has been completed, you'll see that we're in a dedicated workspace inside the editor area of Photoshop Elements. Let's click on the photo bin and you'll notice that we have all of those source images that we selected inside the organizer workspace. Also notice that there's a different color outline around each of these thumbnails. That's important so that we can identify which pictures we're using for which parts of the composite photo. To start the process we need to select one image and drag it up and use it as our background for the final photo. Okay, so we'll use this image here. The background's okay, but obviously there's problems with how the kids are being photographed. With little Joes here running off into the distance, and a couple of funny faces being pulled here and here as well. So let's now go over to this image on the left hand side. The next step is for us to select one of the thumbnails, and you'll see that it gets displayed in this source side of the workspace. We go up and then grab the pencil tool. We can adjust the size of the pencil tip if we wish and then just brush over the area that we want included from this source photo over in the final photo on the right here. And you can see automatically this part of the image has been transferred over to this area here. Very, very easily done. Go through and select another photo and check to see which part of the photo we wish to include. So here Liza is looking a little better so we'll just brush over Eliza in this photo and you'll see her being added in the final over here. Now we just want to work with Jose and Adrian sitting on the right here. Let's have a look and see where they look best. Okay, here he's looking relaxed, but over here he's sitting nicely. So let's just brush over this area here and have that brought over to the right hand side. So you can see now on the right hand side in the final image we have a composite of several different photos that we've selected from the base. There are extra tools available in the panel on the right here to fine tune our group shots as well. All we need to do now is click done to create the final photo and then we can go and grab the crop tool and just crop out the edges that we no longer need. 